guys, welcome back. My name's Shane Green. I'm the Culture Hacker. All right, we got another uh, long weekend coming up, so your employees are heading out the door. My question today is a very simple one. Even whether it's just an extra day off or taking some extended vacation, are they really disconnecting from the work? Now, let's start with the whole idea of vacation. We as Americans, we're just not good at taking it. More than half our workforce last year left vacation days on the table. So that immediately raises a problem. Add to the fact that while the number of vacation days are slowly creeping up, we are still way behind most other civilized countries in terms of the number of days we take off. So let's start with that. We just don't have enough days compared to the rest of the world. But now, what about those days we do have? Are we really allowing our employees to disconnect? Now, I know some managers, owners out there, you're saying, I don't really want my employees disconnected. I want them to be always responding. I get it. I know what that's like, but the reality is, and what research now suggests, is that we've got to make sure our people disconnect. The research says that, again, people that are truly disconnected, not only are they healthier, but they end up staying around more, they're more productive, they're just happier professionally and personally. From a health point of view, stress goes down, they're just better mentally and physically in everything that they do, and again, their personal and professional lives just seem to be more positive. The bottom line is, is that the research is overwhelming. We've got to get our people to take that time off and to truly disconnect. And listen, companies are now listening. You've got companies out there like Google, GE, um, American Express, uh, Salesforce. Uh, all of these companies are starting to invest more in getting their people to take more time off. My favorite company though, and this is a big uh, uh, shout out to my friends at Amgen. Again, five weeks off the moment an employee starts working there. So again, companies are starting to understand that there's a true benefit behind it. But let's get back to the true question. Do we actually allow them to disconnect? You see, most American workers have this fear that when they're not at work, they still need to be connected to work. It's that fear of missing out. That's that fear of getting behind. So even though they not, might not be physically at work, they're still engaged emotionally and mentally. And you see, this is where the problem is. So what can we do? Well, as managers and companies, here's some quick tips and start thinking about this. The first of all, you've got to create a culture where your people are able to disconnect. What does that culture mean? That whether it's a policy or an expectation that when they're outside of work, they don't have to respond to work, unless of course there's a crisis. Listen, if they can do this as a country in France, I'm sure we can do it with our companies here. Now, for that first point to be effective, it really comes back to the managers. You see, they set the example, particularly senior managers. They need to set the expectation with that when they're out of work, they cannot be called, they cannot be emailed, or specifically, they're not going to respond to it. Of course, unless there's a crisis. Now, those same managers, they need to follow up on the other side, which means not reaching out to their employees unless there's an emergency that dictates it. The third thing that we can do is that we've got to encourage people to delegate more and cross train. Listen, there should never be just one person in the workplace who knows how to do a specific job. So identify those key tasks and make sure that you have multiple people trained and ready to take over if someone's out of the office. The fourth thing that we must be able to do is reward and recognize healthy work behaviors. Recognize when someone goes on vacation or takes all of the vacation or doesn't reply to emails when they're out of the office. Those sort of little subtle comments can make a huge difference to your culture. The other thing that companies can do is start to look at more flexible hours. Listen, some people just like working at night and at different hours of the day. See if there are opportunities in the workplace to allow them to be connected when they want to be connected. And by adjusting hours and by creating a more flexible workforce, you can start to give better balance to when people are on or at work. And then finally, listen, we've already mentioned it. Make sure your people take their vacation days. Encourage it. Keep track of it. And don't wait to the last minute where it suddenly becomes a burden to your organization. Listen, companies, managers, the most important thing I can tell you today is that you must focus on the health of your employees. And one of the biggest opportunities we have is making sure that they truly get disconnected when they're away from the workplace. Thanks very much for listening. We'll see you again soon. Cheers.